know the scriptures. I know everyone here has heard of the third eye. You see this everywhere. The third eye. So that is, you know, a third eye, the new age term. Spiritual eyes, biblical. Twin flame, new age term. Kingdom spouse, biblical. Spirit guide, new age term. Holy spirit, biblical. (laughs) Psychic, new age term. Prophet, biblical. Prophetic numbers, biblical. Angel numbers, new age term. So I know you guys are getting the idea where I'm going with this. So yes, it's a few more, but it has scripture to it. So I'm not going to go all, I'm not going to say it all, but you get the idea. You get the gist. So when I started to start walking, not even before I started, but way before I started walking in my calling, I already knew I was gifted because of the the what I can feel being around people or just coming into an atmosphere and feeling if it was good or bad. So I'm going to, so at first, when I used to complain to my sister about it, because I really didn't know, I used to get really weighed down, like in a depressive state, being around, as you see, negative, like negative energy. That's a new, new age term for uh, evil spirits. That's biblical. So yes, we say negative energy, being around negative energy, that is evil spirits. So if someone is operating out of a demonic force or the atmosphere has a lot of demonic forces, it would weigh me down. This is before I start walking in my calling because I didn't know what it was. So I thought, my sister was like, maybe you're an empath. I think you're an empath. I didn't even know what an empath was, but I didn't go to the scriptures for it. I didn't pray about it. What I did, I went online and started to take advice from people doing new age things. So an empath, I'm going to read the description of an empath. An empath is someone who is highly aware of the emotions of those around them to the point of feeling those emotions themselves. Empaths see the world differently than other people. They are keenly aware of others, their pains, pain points, and what they need emotionally. So yes, I am not an empath. I am a child of God with this gift. So a lot of people that are well, they think they're impasse, they can pick up on emotion. They can pick up on feeling. This is a gift from God. And if you are not aligned with the Father, the Lord, the Holy Spirit, it will take a toll on you. I used to, it used to weigh me down and I used to be depressed because of it. I used to not even want to be around crowds because it used to be that overwhelming. It doesn't happen anymore. And plus I was being oppressed as well. So the enemy would take a opportunity if you have open doors to oppress you because the enemy knows your gifts as well. There's a lot of people that suffer from this because they don't know how to, I would say, control it because they are not centered in the Lord. If you are centered in the Lord and you are a so-called empath, you would be able, Father God and Lord Jesus, if you are aligned with them, it will not harm you. If you're not aligned with them and you have open doors, it will take a toll on your health. See, this is how... If you're in the world and you're a gifted person and you don't know that, you would, you you know, you'll feel out of whack. (laughs) You will feel out of whack if you are not centered in the Lord. And it's, it stems from the spirit. This is a spiritual gift, but people don't know that people is to deceive people. That's the goal. The goal is to deceive you just like he deceived Eve. He deceived Eve because he knew that he couldn't touch Eve and he needed Eve to put her hands to something Father God already told her not to do. So this is why the enemy will pervert the things that the Lord has already set in place for us to deceive you. So you would put your hands to things that you have no business touching because you would open a door, a demonic door in your life. So this is the reason why he would take the things of the father and put their spin on it. And once you entertain it, you've opened the door. So the third eye, I know everyone here knows what a third eye is. It's the eye that people talk about that's in the middle of their forehead when they can see, when they can see. Some people use drugs to open up their third eye, pharmacia, but then there's other people that just can see through the third eye, through demonic forces. When you are a gifted child of God, or you know, when you are a gifted child of God, your third it's your spiritual eyes. It's not third eye. Father God can open up our spiritual eyes to see beyond the physical. There's some people that are just seers and they're able to just see things. Not everyone can do that. 
I can see when my eyes are closed. There's people that walk around with their eyes open and can see. They're gifted. They're seers. And then, Father God, at times, will open up your spiritual eyes in order for you to see beyond. So it's not third eye. It's a spiritual eye. And Father God has opened up spirit people's spiritual eyes here right now in the physical because that's happened to me. And you'll see that in the Bible as well. So a twin flame. A twin flame is a person that the enemy has for you. And a kingdom spouse is the person Father God has for you. A twin flame is the most toxic relationship that you will 